Hi, this is a tutorial video on creating a fillable PDF document. When I say fillable PDF document, we're talking about a PDF that you can click on a field and start typing it in. And you can have uh, somebody else fill it out, send it to you, and then um, you can print it out with the fields filled in. Um, there are a lot of things you can do with this, uh, so it's a nice ability to have to be able to create some of these documents. Now, right now, I'm using Adobe Reader to view a test one I made, um, but you can use any uh, PDF reader. I prefer Nitro PDF, but I'm using Adobe Reader because most people have that. Um, and as you can see, I'm filling out different fields and uh, we're going to figure out how to create these fields. So we're going to get out of Adobe Reader and we're going to open up OpenOffice. This is the program I'm going to show how to create these PDFs from. And I chose OpenOffice because not everyone has uh, Microsoft Office or another uh, Office program for creating documents and this particular one open office is free you can just download it from the Apache website I'll put a link for that in the description and you can just download it if you don't already have it and um, you can start creating some of these things yourself not every version of uh, office programs have the ability to do this so I'm I had to pick something so we're gonna use open office I'm gonna go ahead and start that up right now Okay, so I have my open office program open, and um, I'm opening the writer part of it. Obviously, that's what we're going to use to create a document. And uh, the first thing we're going to want to do is we want to see the tools to create these uh, controls in the form that we're creating. So we're going to go to view up here on top. We're going to click that, brings down a menu, and then we're going to go to toolbars, brings up another menu. We're going to go to the form controls and check that off. That way we have the uh, items that we need. We're going to click that and you notice a box opens up here. This is the form, form controls menu. <clears throat> now, what we're going to do is, let's say we just wanted to create a quick little document, which is what we're going to do. I'm just going to write here on the top, test document and we're going to decide where do we want to put a little form uh, box and we're going to put a text box that's the first thing we're going to look at it says ABC right there if you can see it uh, you're going to click that and then you're going to choose where do you want this box put it on the left side here what I'm doing is I got this little um, indicator here and I'm holding down the left click button and I'm stretching it out I can make it smaller or bigger, but anyway, we're just going to make it this size, and it creates this box. Now, we're not done there because we want to set parameters for this box. Like, let's say we want to make a big box where someone's going to fill in a lot of information. Well, what I just did right there is I double-clicked the inside of this box. Whether it's small or big, I can double-click inside of it. It's going to bring up a lot of options. Now, the ones we're going to be interested in right now is um, we're going to look at a few of them. We're going to look at the text size. Sometimes you might make a box a certain size, and when you test it, you find out that the text doesn't fit. This is where you're going to change the text to a different size, smaller or bigger. Um, I usually have to make mine smaller because I like my boxes small and neat. So I'm just, I could change the font, but I'm just changing the size of the text to 9. Now, that size is the size of the text that is entered into this box. This is after we're all done and we want to um, fill these boxes out. That's the size the text is going to show up as. You want to make it too small because you want to be able to read it. So the next thing we're going to look at is 
how this box looks. Now, right now it says 3D look. Usually that's what shows up. That's like the default. Um, you can kind of see that on one side it's very a very light line. On the other side it's kind of darker. And on this side it's a little darker. Kind of makes it look like a box that's inverted. And that would be the 3D look. Now if I'm interested in having it not look like anything, like the uh, uh, PDF that we were just looking at before I opened up OpenOffice, um, we're going to go without frame. When we put without frame, it is almost invisible. Of course, there's going to be a little shady part that shows up so you know where you're supposed to fill in, but it makes it a lot more neater. You don't have uh, outlines on the uh, outside of the box, but however you want to do it, this is where you would switch those options. Now, uh, if you recall, I mentioned if I wanted a big box where someone's going to enter a lot of information, well, I'm not going to want it single line then because if I leave it single line and I want a lot of information in here, then what's going to happen is someone's going to type in here and the typing is just going to go out within, it's, you're not going to see it anymore. It's going to go outside of the field of the box. But if I change it to multi-line, then what happens is, is it's going to wrap the text around and I'm going to continue down with another line. When I get to the end here, it's going to continue automatically down with another line. And that can create a lot of room for you to type. Let's say you had a big comment to make in this PDF document. Well, then you would use multi-line. In this case, we'll just make it single line so we can see how that looks like. We're going to make it a smaller document or a smaller field. And then uh, we're going to make another one. And we'll make that one multi-line. So I've made my little one there. And let's make another one, text box. We're going to go here and we're going to make it big. Okay, so we have the, the big one here. And we're going to double click again in the center. And we're going to make our changes, such as the size of the text, how we want the border of the box to look, and whether it's multi-line or single line. We're going to go do multi-line. Okay, so we're going to close that up. Now we have our two boxes. This one is hard to see, and you you might have thought, hey, where did my other box go? But it's because we don't have a border on it. So you just got to have to remember where they are. What I like to do is, is I keep everything 3D until I'm completely done. That way I can kind of see where's everything situated, and if I do want it to be invisible, well, I'll do that at the end when I'm all completed. Now let's say you wanted someone to know what they're supposed to fill out here. Well, you then, like in, in any normal document, you would uh, fill out right before the box uh, name here or something like that. And then I can move this right in the appropriate place. And we can also, um, what I'm doing is I'm uh, moving my cursor down with the tab button. We're going to tab down to uh, a spot appropriate over the larger box. And we're going to say add, whoops, not ass, add comments here. So now we've got a very simple form document with only text boxes and we want to know how it's going to work. So why don't we test it? So what we're going to do is we're going to go here to design mode on and off. This is how you can test how these boxes are going to work. So I'm going to turn off the design mode. I'm going to go in one of these boxes. I'm going to start typing. Uh, this is my name. And you can see that it's very small, the text, and there's plenty of room. So I could probably make it bigger. If you remember, I made the text 9. Now this one I believe we left 12. And let's see how that looks. Is the text we are. Now you can see that uh, the text 
after I reached the end of the box, it wrapped around and went to the next line. Now if I continue to type, and just to make things quick, I'm just going to hold down a button, you can see that it continues to wrap, continues to wrap, continues to wrap. So you can kind of gauge about how much room you're going to need um, by doing this. Uh, you can test it, and then once you find out, mm, that's a little too big for me, you can, uh, you don't have to clear it out. I like to clear them out before I go back to design mode. And then I'll hit design mode, I'll go back into this, and I can shorten it a little bit because that was a lot of room. And I didn't need quite that much text space. And uh, remember how everything looked a little small here. We're going to change it to probably back to 12. So we'll go to 12. And like I said, you can change the font and everything. Uh, we don't want to play around with that. You can mess with it as much as you want. What we're worried about is just making things fit. Um, you can change it to your flavor of font, whatever you want, uh, when it's your time to do it. So I'm going to close that, and we're going to see how 12 fits. So I turn off design mode. I click in there. This is 12. And it looks a little bit better. Box is still a little big. So maybe I'll just leave it at 12 and uh, make the box a little smaller. So I'll get out of design mode again and I'll shrink it down just a little bit, go back into design mode, and sometimes you need to go back and forth. And um, just keep uh, going back in, testing it, making changes, till you get it looking exactly how you want. Now you see, some people might not like the name here right on the bottom of the box. Well, no problem. You can go and move the box uh, down or move um, where your name here is uh, by going back a little bit and going up. And as I said, you can move the box around. Um, so there's a lot of different things you can do to set this up. This is a very basic tutorial what we're doing. Uh, you'll want to check out part two where we'll start looking at some of the other buttons here, such as the checkbox and our radio button, where is it? The option button. I call it a radio button. It's either one. But in any case, we're going to try those uh, in part two. Thank you for viewing this tutorial. Um, before we're done, let's take a quick look at something. Let's say you're done and you're happy with it and you'd like to test it as a PDF. Well, then just go up here to File and OpenOffice has this option to export it as a PDF. Now, when you export it as a PDF, it will continue to have the um, ability to fill out these fields. So don't worry that if you export it as a PDF, you're going to lose the ability to do that. Oh, another thing, uh, if you do do that, you probably want to take out all your text that you put in as a test before you export it. Let's go ahead and export it. And these are different options you can have. You can leave it as default, just uh, not to mess anything up. We'll just leave it as default. We're going to export it. We're going to tell it where to export it. And we're going to call this a test. Save. And uh, let's open it up. OK, as you can see, I've opened our document. Um, and we've got our fields in here. And you can see it still fills out. You're not going to lose that capability. So, and everything seems to work. Of course, this is a very simple document, but it gets you on the road to starting to create your own PDFs that allow you to fill in the fields. Um, for your own purposes. So uh, thank you for watching this first tutorial on making fillable PDFs and uh, we'll see you again on the other side.